Hi, my name is Robert Shelley with Shelley Law, uh, and my law firm assists physicians with employment contract issues. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about whether a, a resident physician can be fired. Uh, the short answer is yes, they can. Um, <clears throat> so when a, a resident matches, enters into a program, that program is going to have a code of conduct, policies, procedures. They may make the resident sign an offer letter, letter of intent. Sometimes they'll offer like a very short employment contract that's not even close to as complicated as what the physician will receive, you know, after they're done with training, <clears throat> start their new job. So once the physician enters the residency program, uh, obviously problems can arise. And in any walk of life, just because you're a professional doesn't mean you're not going to have problems. And in this case, if a problem rises to the level uh, that the program thinks cannot be fixed, they can uh, let the resident go, remove them from the program, fire them, whatever you want to call it. So uh, the main reasons for someone to be removed from the program are uh, substance abuse issues. So if they're kind of alleged to be impaired at work, that could easily be a reason to remove them from the program. Now, most programs will allow some period of time uh, for rehabilitation, or maybe they can make them take, uh, you know, a gap year or some time off to get their problems under control and then just extend the residency by that amount. However, if someone can't get their problems under control, uh, it's obviously a patient safety issue. It can be let go of the program. Same can be said for mental health issues. Same scenario, there may be time for it to allow them to get uh, psychiatric care, medication, counseling, whatever. However, if it continues and becomes a problem, they can be let go for that. <clears throat> Clinical issues, obviously. Uh, just because someone has gotten into med school, graduated from med school, gone through their internship, entered into residency, it doesn't mean they don't have uh, or at least potentially have some uh, clinical skill problems. And so <clears throat> if during training, the same problems continue to arise, uh, that can be grounds to let go of a physician uh, who's in residency. Two more things, boundary violations, meaning professional boundaries. So I know I had a client once who um, had, I guess, began a romantic relationship with a patient of his while he was in residency. He was in mental health uh, and some issues <laughs> popped up. <clears throat> he was reported to the board and booted from the residency program. Um, <clears throat> so the physician needs to be aware of boundaries as well. And then the last thing would be dishonesty. Um, I find as someone who represents physicians before the licensing board here, in Arizona, uh, dishonesty is really tough uh, because it's very difficult to show rehabilitation from dishonesty, if that makes sense. So if you have a drug problem, a drinking problem, you go to rehab, you go to AA, you do the steps, you know, clearly they're getting better. You go to counseling, mental health, same thing, psychiatric care, medication, counseling, you're better, uh, clinical issues, you know, maybe you've uh, done some continuing <clears throat> continuing education, some PACE programs, whatever, uh, they can, you know, improve the skill that way. But if somebody lies, just straight out lies, it, it's hard to show any way for them to improve by that. Maybe some continuing education and ethics. Um, but beyond that, uh, I find that most boards are it, like if they come, if they drop the hammer, it, the hammer is being dropped uh, without any ability to, you know, improve from it. If the physician is proved to be some kind of uh, liar or, you know, continues to be dishonest about something. Uh, so those are the main reasons why someone would be let go or removed from residency or fired. Uh, <clears throat> so two things normally happen. Uh, first, if the program believes the physician can be coached up, so to speak, or improved, they will put them on a performance improvement plan, corrective action plan, something like that. And then if the physician shows steady improvement, then there's no issues. 
uh, <clears throat> if they have gone through those steps and the physician still hasn't improved and they've kind of exhausted every possibility, then they'll go through a formal uh, removal of the physician from the residency program. <clears throat> Generally, there's a committee that has to vote uh, to remove the person, then the resident would have an opportunity to address the committee. Um, but <clears throat> it certainly can happen. Uh, I guess there's one more thing that could happen is, as I stated earlier, if there was some kind of issue that required some kind of brief period of time away from the training program, the residency can just be extended for whatever amount that they uh, missed. And in that scenario, that's great. I mean, obviously a physician wants to get through residency as quickly as possible. However, if it is extended, no big deal. They can still get through it, find a new job, no harm. So can a resident physician be fired from their program? Yes, uh, for a number of reasons. Um, so anyway, if you have any questions, you can always call my law firm at the phone number listed below in the description, or you can reach us through our website, ShellyLaw.com, C-H-E-L-L-E-Law.com. Anyway, my name is Robert Shelley. Appreciate you watching the video. Thanks.